basically, you know, homecoming is just, you know, it's, it's hard work. But, you know, we finally changed the show. So, you know, it's going to be good. Dance community finally stepped up. Let me just say that. And I hope they keep it up. So, and this week is a very, very anticipated week. You know, I just can't wait for Saturday to come. You come here. Yes, sir. Y'all can, can y'all? And if you can't see him, raise your hand. We can't see you. And you demonstrate. I want it the way it's supposed to be. Five, six, seven, and... I'm just gonna have fun. I'm not gonna sweat it. I'm gonna learn everything I need to learn. Play and dance. That's it. Play the part. It's crunch time. One of our biggest games. The band, they have the dance moves. Everything is fine. It's energy. That's all we need is energy. And that's the thing that the band is lacking. So uh, we tried to run it, get a band a few chances to run it. Uh, they didn't give us what Dr. T wanted, so uh, basically we're going to take a break, come back, and hope for the best. Hopefully they bring that energy. Homecoming is a situation where you're going to have more alumni. And when I say alumni, not necessarily band members. You're going to have quite a few of them because you're going to have an alumni band come in, but just the graduates that are returning. This sergeant here was in the world, man. Yes, I was. Super proud of Yes, I was. Just nice to see your students gone out and do some good things for themselves. Uh, and that's the second one that has graduated from under me that went on off to be in the Marine Band. For me, this is my last homecoming. So, you know, I'm like, yo, I'm thrilled. Like, oh, it's my last homecoming. What's going to be like? And then I thought about it. I'm like, oh, the alumni are coming. <laughs> the alumni band is really what I want to see because as much as they talk trash about us, it's going to be funny to watch some of them not being able to do the breakdown and hold their legs up in them 90s. First rough draft is real good because we prepared our band members by sending our information through the internet so they had at least uh, three months to get ready for this. I feel the same way I did when I was in college. Even though I've gone over this show hundreds of times on that field in my mind, when I get on that sideline, I hear butterflies in my stomach. You're a little nervous. Um, excited, the crowd around you, they're, oh, they're not that bad, oh, and some people in the crowd who know you, they may call out your name, you're trying to stay focused, <laughs> everybody going to the left, you going to the right because you waving. <laughs> I think the band is going in, you know, in the right direction, and and I think it, it once they see the alumni band, they realize the tradition of this band, because they they can see that, you know, these old people is they they can move pretty good for their age, you know. <laughs> I think the band did real well for the parade. And uh, the parade's over about 9.30 for us. 30 minutes flat, oh, 9.45. And we'll report back here at 12 noon. We'll start preparing for the game. By 1 o'clock, 1.15, we'll head to the stage. I look at our football team, and I look at their football team. Each week, Mississippi Valley has been stepping up to the plate. They've been coming up. They, they lost to Powerhouse Jackson State by one point. So I knew we were going to have a game. I think the alumni did a, a very good show. Those people who were out there were probably glad it was three minutes and not eight because I've seen uh, the alumni bands in the past perform uh, for more than three minutes. And by the time they come off of that sideline, they all need oxygen. So <laughs> uh, this time, nobody was gasping for air. Up in 
Well, we were trying to do is keep that audience uh, hyped and saying, say, oh, they got that. Look at the twirl over there. Oh, look at the guy over there. They got the tip in his back. Oh, you got the rhythm section going on against the sideline. Oh, look at the little guy out there. So that was just a lot. So it, it was almost pick your poison for entertainment. Mississippi Valley did a very good show. Uh, I enjoyed their show. I think they did, they did very, very good. Uh, but uh, I have to say, I think the crowd enjoyed our show better. Homecoming against uh, Mississippi Valley, uh, you know, we, we had a comfortable lead at one point uh, before the, the dust settled. It was 24-24, and uh, DJ came in in the, in the overtime. Him and uh, Mario hooked up um, for a game-winning TD. But, uh, you know, that, that's what you look for. You're looking for people to come in and make plays no matter who they are. The Battle, presented by AT&T. Rethink possible. To The Battle. Presented by AT&T. Good girls. This week is the Jackson game, and I'm very excited. A lot of girls are excited as well, and the routine, the new routine is a lot harder than it's been before. Five, six, seven, eight, one, two. Three. So on your chenille, your little chenille, you're going to look to the side. I know some of the girls are intimidated by the dance, but everything oh, is like a battle, chenille. so okay. it's a fight. Thank you, ladies, for doing the full out. But Trina, do you have a problem? Because if you don't do a full out, I'm not going to do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So if you're not going to do it, you're not going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it every time. Okay. The Jackson game is important to me because I know how strong and fierce the j Sex come. The intensity that, the, that they bring to us, it just makes you want to give them back something more or equivalent. In order for us to win this battle, we have to stick together as far as our attitudes, our confidence, you know, and our routines, everything. Anybody having any problems so far? <sighs> we got it. Just, you know, everybody on three. One, two, three, let's go. I'm at the chiropractor office or center right now because I want to get a follow-up on my back and my knees. I've been having problems with my knees and my back. Back's been very sore. Knees been having, I've been having a lot of knee pains. So I finally made it up to the chiropractor office to basically get a checkup and to see exactly what's wrong. I came a couple of days ago and they told me that my hip bone, my right side of my hip bone is pushed in more than my left side and it's offset. And that could be because my knees have been hurting or it could be vice versa. So basically they're gonna basically come in, check me out and tell me exactly what's wrong and actually start treatment for it. Good morning, you said. Good morning, how you doing? Good to see you. Same to you. Back pains have been going on since about August 1st of this year. And my knees been bothering me ever since the day before the Bayou Classic of last year. That's when my knee pain started. I'm getting checked out and, and we know what's wrong. Would that prevent me from doing any of the drummage activities that I have to do for the rest of the season, or? Well, that's what we want to keep you doing. Yeah, okay. So we want to make it safe for you. We want to make sure when you're doing the movements, you know, your back's working with you as much as possible rather than against you. OK, OK. That'll yeah. work then. And that's where at home, use that ice and do the stretch, you know, pre and post okay. activities. We'll okay. help out. I still feel like I'm very prepared. I know I can fight through the pain. That'll be no problem at all. But as far as the after effects, you know, that's what yeah. I have to worry about. to go and talk to Ms. Maloney like I told you to. Um, I did talk to her yesterday, actually, when we were in practice. And I asked her, I was like, so can we, can I ever have a chance to, you know, do like a private lesson with you? She was like, she don't do private lessons. And that I just need to come to practice when they practice, you know, during like 8 o'clock or whatever, because they go over same routines. And I went yesterday, and they were going over same routines, and, you know, they broke it down to like the details. So. But what is it about the same routines that you can't it's just do? It's just the little details, because I know them. You know, when I see them, when she calls the eight count, I can come complete them. Your problem is not, hey, I need to lose weight, or it's not, I don't have my shoes. Mm -hmm. You are the problem. <laughs> and I think it's mental. I think you're just trying to do too much. I think, I don't know. I think I'm getting a little overwhelmed with it. Why are you overwhelmed? 
Because I know I have my schoolwork and then I have dance and then, you know, every time I think that I have a STEM routine and I try to show Miss Maroney, it's, it's like it's always something like, no. It is a dance company, not a dance line. There's a difference. Miss Maroney is a perfectionist because she's running a dance company, not a dance line. I mean, I expect, like, perfectionism exactly. and all that. But when you teach something and you watch us do it, be sure that you point out those little details that you know that your director is going to be looking for. I really need to work with Miss Maroney. I know she said that she's not going to do private lessons, but I need to have a one-on-one -on -one with her. Because the way, like I said, the way to begin them teach stuff, they don't point out certain details. And I'm not saying that they have to turn around and be like, oh, Tiara, you forgot to do this. No, I'm just saying, when you teach it, be sure to be like, okay, make sure you arch your foot on this part, turn your head on this part. They don't teach, they just go through it. So I'm not giving up. So since I can't give up, might as well just keep pushing harder. The Battle, presented by AT&T. TNT. I'm anxious, trials are tomorrow. Let's get this dance together. And I remember DJ, she was telling me, okay, Tierra, we have to make this game. This is like the game that you have to make that's really gonna indicate if you're gonna be in the Bayou Classic or not. And me thinking about the Bayou Classic, I'm like, okay, I have to make it. So we're going over the, the dance or whatever, and Miss Maroney comes in, and she's looking at everybody like, what are y'all doing? Like, why does nobody have this dance? So that's when she decided, okay, you know what? We're gonna have trials because if you don't have it today, chances are you're not gonna have it tomorrow. The whole time I was doubting myself, I was sitting down like, man, look, y'all have fun. I'm gonna just have to catch y'all next game or whatever. But they was like, why are you doubting yourself? You know you have this dance. I'm like, I don't, I don't know. She said trials today, and I know honestly, I just haven't been practicing my stands like that. And I said, well, y'all just gonna head on and have fun. I made sure I stood like in the front but kind of off to the side so that way my her main focus won't be on me because i was trying to hide a little bit because i know I, did, I wasn't sure about the dance moves and i did it and everybody was like what's what's the problem you did good I would, i'm like y'all this is not my best i had i know what's my best and that wasn't my best so like i said y'all have fun just tell me about it when you get back <laughs> okay so the ladies who'll be dancing this weekend will be octavia Myself, Trina, Bree, Tierra One, Shantae, Ariel, Key, Lisa, Tierra Two, <laughs> and Jamila. Wait, I'm looking around like, did she, did she just really call my name? No, no stand routines. I made it like this. And they were like, yeah. Called my mom, called my aunt. They were, yay, finally. So it's pretty much like this battle that I have been struggling against and been fighting against. I finally, I finally won. Well, we have a situation here where our secretary, who has been with the band department for 28 years, girl, look at she 50 and um, lost her battle with cancer. And her daughter don't want to keep out, want to get through with the ceremony, so she scheduled her funeral ironically Saturday at 11 o'clock. Miss Cowan hit me right at band practice time about 4 o'clock. Melanie had just called for the old little old Melanie, that's Miss Dolan's daughter, her only daughter. Melanie said, I'd like for six of the band right to be Paul Bear. I have a band that's destroyed. They have known Miss Dawn for the last 28 years. They just love her. She was just another big band booster that uh, worked behind the scenes so much for us doing things. And they said they were not going to a game unless they go to Miss Dawn's funeral. And you got to give them that respect. Let's do it this way. If all the buses going to leave here at nine, the kids will get off there fully dressed in your uniform. No sag and no overlay throwed out. Go through, sign the book, look at the picture of her, because they're not going to open the car. Back on the bus, I have to ask you and Mr. Henry after y'all uh, sign the book and read. Take the band on. Miss Maroney going to keep her bus there. We were going to be the pallbearer. We probably won't get to the game till after halftime or 3.30, but we know y'all handle. 
Dick, seven, clap, boom, boom. Tweet, 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 clap, that, clap, that, that. So where was all this creativity earlier in the season? Last year, for example. The success of the of the halftime show with the band, it, it really, a lot of people don't know this, it really depends on that drum major and that response when they first get on that field because that can make or break your show. And uh, I have some concerns uh, that we're going to have to work on. And, and uh, I mean, so much, uh, the symmetry and stuff, a lot of that stuff been off. Tim Flop, you putting me to sleep. But you stop counting because you're not going to be able to count on the field. You put your best stuff together, and, and it is my, of my opinion that you just let the chips fall where they may. You can't go into battle without being well prepared, because if you're not well prepared, and you're not sure of what you're doing, you've already lost. The Battle, presented by AT&T. Burning out this useless Presented by AT&T. What's happening here is uh, we uh, stopped this morning, got off schedule for... Uh, the music department secretary, the band wanted to uh, pay their respect, so they put us back about two hours. And so right now we're, we're behind the eight ball. Game have started, and we're trying to get this band out at least to make halftime. So hopefully we'll make that. And at the end of the day, it's out of respect though, because we did go to Miss Dunn's funeral, so you know I can't get no negative way about it. Come on, y'all, let's go, let's go. The phones were blowing up everywhere either by text or by phone call, even from sideline from the football coaches. Where is the band? Quickly, quickly. But sure enough, I was speaking to Mr. Henry. He said, we're we outside the stadium. I said, you need to move in. Going straight to your position. Hey, hey, going straight to your position. I was mad because we didn't get to march in from the beginning to where J-State can see us marching in. When that clock hits zero, zero, those people on that side were performing to the press box side. You got to start moving that way. When it hits zero, zero. We was about to go into halftime, and I heard some booing, and it was booing coming from the other side, the Jackson side. I'm from the... What happened? Nothing happened to be booed about it. I looked down, and I saw the Margin Tigers coming in. I said, oh, that's why they booed. <laughs> had to get a band height and you know I did my best in trying to do that obviously it worked because we went out there you know uh we put on a real good show I kind of slipped up a couple of times on a couple of things uh that I'm, I'm not too proud of at all but I mean it happens I, st I still know uh what I'm good at was just going crazy. I had butterflies in my stomach, and I was just, I was ready. Five, six, seven, eight, the music came so fast. I was like, what? I was kind of like, in my head, you know, I was performing the movements with my body, but the whole time in my mind, I'm like, why is this going so fast? Wait a minute, wait a minute. Why can't I take my time and just enjoy the feel? The whole performance went by fast.
having been a player at, at Grambling and, and playing in swag, playing against Jackson every year, understanding the, the rivalry, uh, the history, the legacy of, of both. And I wanted to let them know from a legacy standpoint, from a history standpoint, they had a chance to write their own history. And, and Jackson was celebrating their 100-year centennial football team. And it was ironic that they were celebrating on Gremlin. I think what they was really saying that, you know, Gremlin is down this year. We can celebrate on them. And I think the players kind of read into the same thing, and they went out and played their hearts out. Big day for. Is the granddaddy of them all. The sneak peek was presented to you by AT&T.